Now let's talk about, uh, go back to KubeCon, uh, Detroit. Tell us a bit about your presence there. What kind of things people can expect? Uh, uh, not only that you'll be announcing, but also at your booth. Mm -hmm. So we heavily improved search. So that is something that we learned in the last uh, KubeCon and we got so, many in uh, so much interest uh, based on Hey, I want to know first if I'm affected. Uh, I need to be able to search for my own metadata, but also for um, information about this application is allowed or this dependency is allowed in this deployment, but not in the other deployment. And uh, we integrated all of this information uh, to enrich the software bill of materials with runtime information, uh, with metadata, uh, with provenance data, and also the linking between source code container images. So uh, with our new search, you can really search back and forth uh, through the provenance, through the software bill of the materials. And of course, you can get an answer if uh, your applications are currently running in a container, in a built environment, uh, sorry, in a CI, in a container, or in a uh, on a server uh, with just an Apache uh, web server, for example. Um, and the second thing is our runtime SBOM. So uh, we are able to create, so first of all, we detect if a container is changing its dependencies. And we can also block it. So from an enforcement perspective, you could block any kind of package manager updates or application updates. Um, or you could just allow it, but track it. And then we also show you the differences and how uh, uh, SBOM evolves from a container image uh, to actually a runtime image or a runtime image over a couple of days. Uh, that is something that we noticed quite often uh, with certain deployments that sometimes there's a kind of a cron job uh, that takes place after the image runs a day or so, or maybe every day. And then uh, the next day, the, the bill of materials and the versions of your dependencies look completely different. That also means the vulnerabilities look completely different uh, based on the runtime. And that is something we also demo on uh, KubeCon, so uh, we have a demo ready at our booth. Dennis, thank you so much for once again taking time out today and talk about you know uh, this topic. Uh, and as we initially started a discussion about the Uber hack, it was kind of you know a wake up call once again that if you know company like that size can be compromised. Uh, yes, we can always say hey it was social engineering, but social engineering. Uh, when it comes to security technology and people have always been the core part, you know, it was never about the technology solution. People has been a bigger problem either way. So, so thanks for, you know, also talking about that. And as I said, we look forward to uh, seeing you at uh, KubeCon and also, you know, invite people to go and check out your booth. Thank you.